This is Tim Wasbrick from Travel Track on Cirque TV. I'm here at Wayfair State Park on the east side of Flathead Lake in Montana. We're up here talking to different locals, businesses, and owners about what makes this place so appealing, the life so peaceful, but also this area so magnificent. When I was growing up as a kid, I had a really good friend in elementary school who would come up here every summer, and he'd come home in the fall and tell me all about the Flathead Lake, Montana, how wonderful it is, how beautiful it is. And so I, that is when the seed had really planted in me. And over the years, um, I would study about it a little bit more. I found this little town of Big Fork on the map, and I thought, what a cool place to live in Big Fork, Montana. This whole area, this Flathead Lake, is absolutely beautiful. Clean, fresh water, big mountains. It's fed from Glacier National Park. So it's, it's a very unique place because it's so pristine and clean. And the lake is enormous, has under over 185 miles of shoreline. But they're gonna be in for a big treat. Okay. I think that's a seaplane. Every day there's something unique to experience out on this lake. For one, and even just in a simple way, the weather constantly changes. So the clouds to the sky, to the wind, to the temperatures, it's all, every day is a special day out here. It's a very special place. There's not many places you can just come right up to a freshwater island, beach the boat, and say have an afternoon picnic. Peak summertime, you get the family boating, water skiing, tubing. There's hiking on Wild Horse Island. It's over 2,100 acres. There's multiple other islands on the lake you can just beach the boat right to and, and go explore or have a picnic. Peace of this place. It's a very peaceful place. How quiet. It's beautiful. It is. I mean, I'm just going to let this run just so people can understand how quiet it is. Yeah. Coming out on this big, massive, freshwater lake, being able to beach the boat on an island, it's peaceful, it's quiet, and be able to just sit back and enjoy it. And look how clear the water is.
I like Bird Island a lot. It's, it's certainly a lot smaller than Wild Horse Island, but it sits out by itself. It's got a, a beautiful little beach to bring the boat up to, but the clarity and the massive size of the rocks that that island is made on is it makes it a very special place so it's a place i can bring the kids once in a while and have a picnic and not see anybody there other than a passing boat once in a while The lake certainly has its own ecosystem. It's, it's a beautiful environment, but it's a very healthy, vibrant environment uh, where cherries just thrive to grow here. So between the, uh, the fresh abundance of water and the crisp mountain air, these cherries just love to grow. And I've heard they are the sweetest, greatest tasting cherries in the whole entire world. So you could imagine back in the time when this was made, the water would have been 10 feet lower. So this lake is fed primarily by two main rivers, the North Fork and the Swan River and then it's drained out of the dam on the south end, which is also the Flathead River, and multiple uh, tributaries and, and creeks. The deepest point on this lake is approximately 380 feet, and it's estimated that if the entire lake, which has 185 miles of shoreline, was completely drained, could refill itself within approximately two and a half to four years. <laughs> 